Hey fellas, what I have here behind me is my waterfront bulkhead. I had a wooden deck on here. I'm in the process of demoing all the decking off. Last year in 2020, we had two hurricanes come through Southwest Louisiana, Laura and Delta. I had two big old oak trees, one here, one a little further back over there, got blowed over and tore my dock all up. So I had me an estimate, somebody to come in here Tear it all out and redo my bulkhead. They want to charge me ninety thousand dollars. I don't think so. I know it ain't built right because the boards are on the back side of pilings, but I'm gonna try to do something to stiffen that up. And I'm gonna do this repair myself. So right now I'm demoing, and this weekend I'm gonna try to do a little bracing, pull some of them walls back and. Uh, brace them walls make it a lot a little better than what it is but we'll see how it goes Hey, slow and easy. Go oh, yeah. Oh! Over here at my boat slip, had a, a big awning. It was. 15 feet tall had big light poles aluminum light poles holding it and that's left of one of them you got one down in the dock over there one down in here i had to cut off here it was bent over bent my pole on my boat lift got repaired at one on this corner here pulled up my dock when i was tearing it down I had to drag it with my truck. I'll show you all some pictures of that. There's another one. So, what well, I got going on down the bottom, started to uh, put a strong back. I got two by four, and I got two by six. I'm screw on top of it, make a strong back. I'm gonna run an all thread through the wall to the outside, and I'm gonna have a board also on the outside, and it off there then and bolt it to hold it back but right now especially these two right here are bowed out real bad i'm trying to get them to not fall into the water but that's that's the, what i'm trying to do anyway i'll see how it works i don't know if i can pull it back or just keep it from blowing out all right i got a strong back in. I got my 2x4 underneath and I put me a 2x6 on top. Put a screw about every 6 inches all the way down to that end. And I'm putting in my all threads right now. All threads go through and on this other side I got 2x4 in there. The max is I'm going to cut them off. So, so put them in. See how it does. I put that ball in some. and finish uh, all these ones on the bottom and uh, make my way all the way down then I'll end up I'm gonna put another strong back on top catch this top wall and tie the pose back I 
Okay, got an update here. Been working off and on here and there. Right now I got two by fours on top run. Got them bolted to my pylons. I got all threads. Throw them, drilled in to the outside. Got me a two by six on the outside. So right now I'm working on the bottom. I'll put all three through the bottom. I just got finished drilling the holes. Now I'll put a two by four on the outside. I got my strong backs all in, almost. Oh yeah, I got them all in. Some all three down at that end, not in. Got all three going through the existing wall that was there before. Got a board put on the outside. Here I had to redo my cable. My tie backs. There and one over there. Put them back. I started down here. Put my metal on. And then I'll I'll come back and I'll backfill the dirt here. Redo my board here and then check it out. That's where I'm at right now. Put metal all down there. Get that done and I'll be ready to back for you. Okay. Putting on these clamps for these tie backs. When you're doing these tie backs, you got a saddle and a U boat. Make sure you put your saddle on your main line. Then put your U boat on your little tag line on the other side. They always call that uh, don't saddle a dead horse. So that's one, one way to remember it. Put your saddle on the, your live line coming from your pool. You boat on your, your tag line. Want the end on it. Put it on there and tighten it up. Okay, I got my all threads in. Holding the wall, the board on the outside. Got my tie backs. Got all the metal down. I just screwed them into my strong backs. Now I'm gonna cut these uh, posts out, and I'm gonna just deck on top of my strong back and across here. I put a little two-foot board to make my decking and fill in the rest with dirt. And I'll be about done with this section. All right, I'm fixing to cut all my two foot length boards. I made me a little jig. Got my chop saw, I screwed it down to a piece of plywood. And I made a little stop block here. Screwed it all together. Where all I gotta do is throw the board up there, cut, and go to the next one. A uh, whole stack of them I gotta cut. So, a little quick, easy jig I made. All right, start laying my boards down. I cut them all two foot wide, two foot long. I ran me a string line right here from this corner all the way down to the other end. You can see my board, my wall is pretty crooked. So I got a couple of spots I got to turn right here where this board's at. Down there where the other board's at, I got to make a little turn, a little minor cut on my boards. And I'm just going down, button my boards on the string and screwing them down. Cut my poles all down out of the way so I ain't got to cut around them. I'm just deck out this whole thing. Like you see I'm doing right here. And come back and backfill everything. Yeah. Okay, right here I'm, I'm making a turn. So what I'm gonna do, I'm put my board here, square it with my line. I'll get that square good like I like it. I'm gonna just pull a measurement here to here, mark it off to here to there, and then rip from that mark to zero. And I'll make my turn and go on with my boards like that. Made my cut, my motor there, plug it up here, get up on my string. Oh, that's good. Alright, there it is.